Hi, uh, this is Nagarjuna. Um, welcome to my channel. Uh, this channel is completely related to the ETL data stage. Um, this channel mainly motive is uh, to uh, uh, to provide good training to the people and to provide the interview questions as well. Uh, so the most of the interview questions will be covered in this particular channel itself. So. Uh, if you people are interested to proceed with this channel, please like, share, and comment, uh, and um, subscribe my channel. Uh, thanks, everyone. The main uh, topics has been covered in this uh, training institute is like uh, data stage, database, Unix, cell scripting, and um, data warehousing concepts, and real time Git and Jira. All will be covered in this training. So um, now I'm going to cover. In this particular class is sequential file stage interview questions that is data stage sequential file stage interview questions let me share my screen and you will explain one by one what questions will be there on the data stage sequential file stage so able to see my screen right everyone so today i'm gonna cover uh, data stage sequential file stage interview questions so let me open any of the job which is already designed So let's consider this is a simple example. What questions will be covered under the sequential file stage as per the interview perspective? So there are different types of questions they might ask on the sequential file stage. The first one is, what is the default execution mode of sequential file stage? Usually the default execution mode of sequential file stage will be sequential mode. If you go to the stage tab and advanced tab, you can find out what is the execution mode. So you can see that the sequential. Now, if we say as a sequential, they will ask the second question, like how we can execute the sequential file stage in parallel mode. So for this, the answer is we can go three approaches. The first approach is uh, when we have read method equal to file pattern, there is an option called read method. When you are keeping as a file pattern, then automatically your data stage job will execute on parallel mode. If you go here, then you can see the execution mode as parallel. The second approach is, let me change it to back to the C specific file. The second approach is we have options. There is a read from multiple nodes an option. By default, it will be as no. If I change it to S, then automatically it will change to the parallel mode. If you go and see the parallel mode. If I change it back to the no, then you can see it as sequential mode. Sequential. This is the second question. And then the third question, uh, I mean, the third approach is, uh, I'm removing this read from multiple nodes. And the option is number of readers per node. What is the number of readers per node? As I said, that sequential file stage will be executed on a single node. So by default, you will be having one. Now, if I change it to two, more than one, then automatically your execution mode will change to parallel C. If I change it back to one, then you can see as the sequential file execution mode is sequential. These are the three ways we can convert our execution mode from sequential to parallel. This is the second question. Then the third question, what will be asked in the, the data stage sequential file stage is, what is the uh, purpose of the sequential file stage is it, it will allow null values so the purpose of the sequential file stage is to read the sequential data it's like csv or text file whatever the data you want to read you can read with the sequential file stage so the fourth question is is it sequential file stage will allow null values by default the answer is no it will not allow the null values by default to allow the null values by default, then you should go to the format tab. There will be option called field defaults, then go to the null field value. So if you take the null field value, just pass any single quote or double quotes as a string, then the values which are there as nulls, that will be populated from the sequential file stage to the next stage. Otherwise it will not allow the null values to the target. This is the fourth question. Then. 
the fifth question how we can read top 5 records or top 10 records from the sequential file stage we have an option called in properties we have an option called read first rows you will be having an option called read first rows So number of readers that have to remove this. So now read first rows. You can see the read first rows. When you are keeping as read first rows, it will uh, provide you the records which are coming from top to the particular area. If I want the five records, I will get only the five records will be processed from the sequential file stage to the next stage. So this is the way how to read the top five records. If I want to read that bottom five records, or else if I want to remove the duplicate values in the sequential file stage itself, then we have an option called filter. So how we can remove the duplicates in the sequential file, or how we can get only the top or uh, bottom five records, then we can write the Unix commands as well in the sequential file stage by using the filter option. Click on options and select filter. Inside filter, you just make the command whichever you want. If I want to get only the bottom five records, just 12 minus five. There is no default value to get the bottom five records and you should use the filter command and you should get it out. So this is the another question. Now, the seventh question, what is meant by schema file? So if you don't know the proper metadata, which is coming from the source, it means whatever the files the client has been given, if it is not proper metadata, it means uh, sometimes we will get more five columns or sometimes we will get six columns. At that time, we will prepare a schema file. So we will call that schema file by enabling RCP. RCP is nothing but runtime column propagation. How we can read the schema file? We have an option called schema file option. If you select this, we should provide the schema file. The schema file looks like uh, the column names, record of your, uh, whatever the properties needed, then you'll be having the column names. I will show you that the schema file also. Then we will place our the schema file here. Then we will enable the RCP, this runtime column propagation. If we enable, it's not required to be provided the columns in the columns tab. Automatically, whatever the columns were there in the schema file, that will be populated in the next stage level. This is the schema file. So I want to uh, next question, like ninth question, how to find out how many records are processing from the uh, source to the target. So then you can generate the sequence numbers for the source data, which we are getting. How we can generate is row number column. So we need to provide the new column name as row number. And then it will give you unique integer number. Suppose if I have 10 records, it will give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 like that. That is the row number column purpose. If I want to generate integer numbers for the records which are getting, now I can get it easily the count of the records. That is the reason the row number column will be supported. Then what type of rejected data will be given in the sequential file state? So the sequential file stage will give you the rejected data of like uh, which are not handling by the sequential file stage like nulls or any special characters such type of uh, records will be handled in the sequential file stage. So the rejected records that's the reason. So this is overall uh, about the questions on the sequential file stage. So if you like uh, my question and answers please like share and subscribe to my channel. So if you are willing to join to the course, then please um, consider, um, please call to the uh, call to this number. We will give you clear update what we are gonna cover. If you are interested, please contact to the will uh, contact to this number. Uh, we will update to you what needs to be uh, what are all the cover in in this particular uh, course. Everything will be handled in this particular uh, related things. Thanks everyone. Thanks for joining. Um, uh, that's it for today. We'll continue with the next video. If like, if you people are liking this uh, content, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And um, if you are interested to join the course, uh, please contact to the number, and uh, we will provide you the clear picture what we're gonna cover. That's it. We'll uh, continue in the next class with some other uh, stage interview questions. Thank you. Thanks once again. Bye bye.
ticket.